special contract here. We are at 7864 Glen Orchard. Where is that at? I really don't know. <laughs> Roselawn. 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 And we have two... Are they four? Two four bedrooms, yeah. Two four bedrooms? Yeah. We have two four bedrooms in Roselawn. Now, they do need a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, these things are scummy. <laughs> My cameraman, who is... Mr. Wholesaler. Hey, he's been demoted to cameraman. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I'm fired. But no, when we go in here, don't be scared. This is a very scary video. I bet there's bed bugs in here. Don't say that. <laughs> but it's only in the furniture. Yeah. Do you know but the actually, the one good thing is, is that they, they, a couple have sold for 140, and they're all lined up. I mean, I almost would say these were condos at one time. I bet you. I bet they was too. But you know, Glen Orchard is a nice street in Roselawn. 7864. Now I'm telling you, it needs a lot of work. They've actually took the central air units from most of the buildings. Yeah. Gone. They've taken everything. I don't know how the gutters and the downspouts made it. But let's check this out. Watch it. These are scary. But we are trying to sell this for 35k. We're in the process. We're gonna have to get it cleaned out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They use, but if you want, you can have all of this. Yes, free junk. You can Tons have every free Look at that. That is a lot of shit, dude. Dude, how do you... <laughs> I mean, what happened? Yeah, these rooms are just filled. They're nasty. Yeah. You, know, you don't even want to take your hands out of your pockets. I wouldn't. Hey, know. look. <laughs> Gigantic brick house butt. Dude. <laughs> I don't know what you put that. Ah. I should did you see that? <laughs> Gigantic brick house blood. Hey, you can't ask for better. Yeah. You need to call me. Well, check this out. Now the roof is actually caving in. And as you can see, I mean, these hardwoods are probably done. But if you look past all that, and yeah. the potential. The potential cash flow. Cash flow. These uh, things are pulling, what, $9.50 a piece? $9.50 a side. Eight. Yeah. Nine fifty. Uh, so you're almost you could guarantee 19 over nineteen hundred a month in rental. Now you you're gonna have to put at least what do you think, Mark? Thirty, forty thousand into this place? Well, I mean, yeah, I'd say thirty. Probably fifteen God. fifteen each side. Because they're basic, they're simple, they're boxes. It's not like it's a very and it's a brick building. It's got new windows. Um I, I can't believe the windows are still intact. Yeah, you do the soffits and the entry doors and this one's laid out a little different. Yeah, this is. Uh, awesome this this is. Better. Yeah, this is way better. It's a little cleaner. Yes, nice. I mean, the roof, as you can see, is still coming well, down. These bedrooms are huge. They probably rented this one out to the end. Yeah, I bet they did. You know what I mean? Because you. All the bedrooms are not in that bad shape. But they're humongous rooms. I mean, I bet you could. Dude, this could be gone for thirty. You could do this whole building for thirty. Thirty five. Thirty five k. I mean, hell, that means you only had 65 or 70 oh, yeah. in it. They're selling for 150 redone. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, come on, that's a no brainer. If you have the time and money. Time and the money to do this, this, this would is be a, no -brainer. a great cash out. You know, I mean, you're probably going to have to go Section 8, but, you know. Who cares? 1900 a month. 1900 And you get it, you pick it up for 35 from us, you put about 30K in it, you got 60 to 70,000. Your payment's going to run about 650. And you're going to rent it out for 1900 I mean, that's a no-brainer. So you got over $1,000 positive cash flow off this property. Yep. But I, all the copper's gone. I mean, the, probably... Yeah, but the, they're so basic, Shane. Everything stacks. You know, there's really not... I mean, basically, look at this. you got two full baths, dude. Yeah, two full baths, two too. Two full baths. Yes. 35k for this handyman special in Cincinnati. Hey, if you could frame this in, you could have a two bedroom downstairs. I bet you that may have. It might have at one time. You could do yeah, that. It probably these. could have, yeah. I see you might have to rezone it though. But as you can see, the furnace, they took the A cool out. You can't see. We got no light, but. Yeah, this, they just. They got the A cools out. They got. Cool cool, crack it I mean, it looks like they got new, new hot water heaters in them. That's a freaking monster. I know. 75 gallons. Hey, but this one's not in bad shape. I mean... Hello? Hello? Hey, but for Hello? what it's worth, I mean, you're talking 35 k to spend on these properties. 
Mr. Wholesaler had to take a call, so I took a camera over. But if you just look at these places, man, I mean, you can pull 1900 a month, Section 8. These places are selling for 145 150 after remodel. So, great, you throw 70000 into it. So, okay, let's take 110. Let's make 40 k I mean, let's be honest about what can be done here. I mean, they do need some work, but these are very, very big beds. These are very big apartments. They're huge. <clears throat> but, um, hey. 7864 Glen Orchard Avenue, Roselawn, 35,000. Or, please, please, sending out a wholesaling SOS. 54124 Langland for me. I'll throw it out there for 11,000. 11,000, it could be yours. Can't go wrong. A piece of property in Northside for $11,000, how can you go wrong? Things are selling in Northside for a hundred k right now. Right, so come on. Let's get out of this stuff. All right, hit us on what, Shane? www.royceinvestments.com www.mrwholesalerofcincinnati.com www.mrwholesalerofcincinnati.net and cheaphomescincinnati.com Thank you and God bless. Any last words to Hey, hang in there and remember, the Bengals blew the Bears away last week. They have a bye. So, look out. I, I, we could very easily go to the playoffs this year. So, everybody jump back on the bandwagon now. All you Bengal haters, jump back on the bandwagon now that they're winning. You guys, all Bengal haters suck.